Hi there. I'm sure you're wondering, why am I playing Doom Eternal? Well, this of course. But actually, I'm here to show you this. Doom and Doom 2. For Doom 1, you'll need to find all 14 cheat discs in order to quote-unquote install this onto the machine. But, for Doom 2, you just need to enter a password, and that password is Flynn Taggard. No spaces, nothing, just Flynn Taggard. Put that all in, and you can run this secret source port. Alright, so as you can see, the screen has the uh, BFG Edition look to it. But that's not the only thing that looks like the BFG Edition. Let me show you Nightmare. Look at the lighting, and look at the stim pack. I'm sure some people like the pills, but I don't. But you know what nobody will like? The slow projectiles and the chainsaw. Yeah, the chainsaw. Listen to the, the sound of that chainsaw. Isn't it wonderful? No, it's not, because there's no sound limit. So you get infinite chainsaw noises. And of course, I'm just exiting to show you the rest of this level, or rather the next level. Because we gotta kill these guys. And I gotta show you how much of a rush this source port was. Because I gotta be, I gotta be that guy. Of course the enemies, like the zombie men and whatnot, are fast on Nightmare, but... You'll see soon enough what's going on here. I'm sure you already noticed the slow projectile from the imps. And I know I'm not a nightmare player. I usually don't play nightmare, but listen to that shotgun. Or the super shotgun even. It's missing a few sounds, isn't it? Missing a lot of sounds, even. Like, every official source port always has something new to bring to the table, the weirdness. In this case, the super shotguns is off. And of course it is, because why wouldn't it be? Let's go see if we can survive long enough to find the pinkies. Because I'm sure you probably can guess what they're doing. They're dying. And listen to the sound limits, by the way. Isn't that wonderful? The slow projectiles, too. And, of course... That is fixed, you know, the exit to Betray. So this isn't the BFG edition, but it comes from the same cloth. Just like the uh, original source ports that they put on the Bethesda Nut store. Kind of waiting for the pinky to respawn. I'm sure it will eventually. But the rest of these losers need to get out of the way. In the meantime, I'll just harvest their ammo. This is the nightmare experience. Yeah, look at them. This is nightmare. As usual, the pinkies are slow. Of course they are, because this is just the tweaked BFG edition. Not even the Switch port has it. Well, nothing else to do but die. And yeah, you could probably guess what map 31 looks like and map 32 as an extension. Yeah, this this port here is more of a demonstration that they could do this rather than they should. I mean, they just wanted to put it right in the game and say, "Hey, you can play Doom and Doom." But to be quite honest, why why would you? 
well, aside from the novelty, the novelty is pretty funny, but you're, you're still playing a gimped version of Doom 2 and Doom 1. But at the same time, I've seen videos of other people running, like, mods on this too. And it's kind of crazy how that works. And I might have to demonstrate that in a later video if I see that. But the thing about those mods are just like the Bethesda Net source port, you have to run them. They have to be vanilla compatible. So, yeah, no fancy boom compatible stuff here. Just the classic uh, 1994 wads and whatnot. And certain other wads, as long as they uh, are vanilla compatible. No dehack shenanigans, I don't think, either. But aside from that, this is a like pretty straightforward source port. On the bright side, you get the SC55 music, I think. I think that's the right sound font. Or at least it's emulating the sound font. Could be a MP3 file or an AUG for all I know or care. I'll get back to this in the in a later video, I'm sure. But I just wanted to show you how the source port looks and how I can nitpick pretty much anything. But, you know, you're not playing Doom Eternal for the source port. You're playing it for Doom Eternal. But yeah, this is an interesting novelty to say the least, but it's still not the best way to play Doom. Well, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you liked this video, and I hope it was informative to you on exactly how this source port ticks. I might do another video showing some custom wads playing with this, but I don't know. This is still not the best way to play Doom, it's a novelty. I've probably said it like 30 times already, but you know. Well, until next time, toodaloo.